Well, this was given to me as a graduation gift from my mother and father when I finished my PhD. And I had always looked at it in my mother's jewelry box and oh, probably from, let's say, from the mid-70s to 80s on when my father acquired it. And it was his sister, Gladys, who probably bought this bracelet. And I was told she was such a socialite that she died on the dance floor. Then my aunt, Thelma, she inherited it. And unbeknownst to my mother, my father traded the car for this bracelet. And what you got in exchange was a very nice bracelet. Mm -hmm. It's American construction. The, the bracelet is marked for uh, Spalding and Company, Chicago. It was started by an American, Henry Spalding, born in uh, the late 1830s. Had a company in New York with a partner, which closed, and he was picked up by Tiffany and Company in 1871 when they were staffing their offices in Paris. And he worked in Paris with Tiffany and Company until around 1888. He was trying to convince Charles Tiffany to open Tiffany & Company in Chicago. Charles said no. He couldn't convince him to do it. So uh, Mr. Spaulding got some backing and opened Spaulding & Company, a direct competitor for Tiffany & Company in wow. Chicago. So that's what we have here. It's an early Art Deco, late Edwardian sort of transitional bracelet made in platinum with diamonds and sapphires. Uh, what I'd like to show you about this piece of jewelry is how it's constructed, because that's really where that's really where this piece shines. When we turn it sideways, you're going to take a look at the way the front of the bracelet connects to the back of the bracelet. There's a gallery on the side. That's all handwork. Each one of those is little pieces, and it continues to the back of the bracelet. And from the back aspect of the bracelet, we have a continuation of intricate filigree. This is all handwork. None of this is cast. None of this is made in advance. This is all made for this piece of jewelry. Each of these little diamonds and each of these little sapphires that we see is set into a tiny little window, each perfectly, perfectly constructed. The central stone is approximately one half carat natural sapphires. There's a lot of diamonds, all cut, all cut by hand. They come to about three carats total weight. Spaulding was doing a very good job out Tiffany and Tiffany on this piece of jewelry. In a proper jewelry store that sold this kind of a material in New York City, I would expect this bracelet to be for sale for something in the range of $7,500. Oh, wow. And it's absolutely beautiful.